Kenneth Heiner Mahler makes his home debut as Canadian women's soccer coach on June 10 against Olympic champion Germany. And the 47-year-old Dane is bringing his big guns to Hamilton's Tim Hortons Field. In addition to Captain Christine Sinclair and her 267 caps, Heiner Mahler has summoned four others who have a century or more national team appearances, goalkeeper Aaron McLeod, 116, and midfielders Desiree Scott, 133, Sophie Schmidt, 169, and meters and Diana Matheson, 194. Kenneth Heiner Mahler makes his home debut as Canada coach against Olympic champion Germany on June 10 at Hamilton's Tim Hortons Field, Stephen Governo, the Associated Press, defenders Katie Shabuchanan, 76, Ashley Lawrence, 61, and Alicia Chapman, 51, midfielder Jesse Fleming, 52, and goalkeeper Stephanie Labby, 50, all have 50 or more caps. The new face, at least to the public, is Heiner Mahler, who was an assistant to John Herdman when the Canadian women won bronze at the 2016 Rio Olympics. He was elevated to the top job in January when Herdman took charge of the Canadian men's program. A bundle of energy with the gift of the gab, the stylish Herdman is hard to miss on the sidelines. Heiner Mahler is more laid back, I don't mind the spotlight but I don't need it, he said in an interview. Teenagers on the 20-woman roster are 17-year-old Julia Grosso, 18-year-old Emma Regan and 19-year-old Deanne Rose. Regan and Gross are both from the Vancouver Whitecaps FC Girls Elite program while Rose, who already has 33 caps, plays for the University of Florida. The Vancouver-based Heiner Mahler elected to leave 17-year-old striker Jordan Hutimel with the under-17 squad, which is preparing for the June 6 resumption of the CONCACAF Women's Under-17 Championship. The original tournament was suspended April 22, due to security concerns in the host country of Nicaragua. The IMG Academy in Bradenton, Florida, will host the remaining matches with Canada 1-0-0 after a 3-0 victory over Bermuda in Nicaragua. Other than Hudema, Heiner Mahler said he got everyone he wanted. Labby gets the call despite a lack of playing time after being denied a chance to play for a Calgary men's team in the PDL by league officials. She expects to join a European team in the near future, I hope so, said Heiner Mahler. I don't think that players on this level can go without match minutes for a longer period of time and Steph knows that I think this, Canada is 1-5-0 all-time against Germany. The lone win came at the 2016 Rio Olympics when Canada scored a 2-1 upset in preliminary play. Germany had its revenge in the semi-final, winning 2-0, the Germans went on to defeat Sweden 2-1 in the final while Canada beat Brazil by the same score for the bronze. The most recent FIFA rankings in March saw Canada rise to number 4, matching its all-time high achieved in the wake of Rio. The US ranks no. 1, with England second. Germany dropped to no. Reap falling out of the top two for the first time since June 2009 after finishing last in March in the Chevalevs Cup where the Germans lost 3-0 to France, 1-0 to the US, and drew 2-2 with England. In the aftermath of that poor performance, Steffi Jones was dismissed as Germany coach and Horst Herubisch was named interim coach. Herubisch led the German men to a silver medal at the Rio Olympics. Germany is coming off 4-0 World Cup qualifying wins over Slovenia and the Czech Republic in April, ITA Hungary team, said Heiner Mahler. Harubish, a former German international forward, has a coaching resume that stretches more than 30 years, he knows what he's doing. He's a great coach, Heiner Mahler said.
he's definitely sparked some new energy into this German side, bringing in some more untested players but definitely hungry players. And they'll be ready, Canada will have some intel on the opposition. McLeod, Schmidt and defender Shannon Wohler all play professionally in Germany. Germany scored in the 86th minute to beat Canada 2-1 the last time they met, at a friendly in Erfurt, Germany. Canada last played in April when it lost 1-0 to France in a friendly in Rennes. The team's is 3-2-0 oh, under Heiner Mahler, who has spent recent months building relationships with the likes of Portland, Olympique Lyonnais and Paris Saint-Germain, home to St. Clair, Buchanan and Lawrence, respectively. The Canadian women are gearing up for the CONCACAF Women's Championship in October, which serves as a World Cup qualifier. The Hamilton game is the first home match for Heiner Mahler since taking over the women's team, from John Hartman in January. It's also the first match for the women at Tim Hortons Field since a 1-0 loss to England in a friendly ahead of the 2015 Women's World Cup Canada. Canada roster goalkeepers, Stephanie Labby, Stony Plain, Elta, unattached, Aaron McLeod, Street. Albert, Elta, USV Jena, Germany, defenders, Lindsay Agnew, Kingston, ONT, Houston Dash, and WSL, Alicia Chapman, Cordis, ONT. Houston Dash, and WSL, Ashley Lawrence, Caledon, ONT. Paris Saint-Germain, France, Emma Regan, North Vancouver, Vancouver Whitecaps FC Girls Elite, Shannon Wohler, Vancouver, USV Jena, Germany, Shalina Zadorsky, London, ONT, Orlando Pride, and WSL, Katie Shabuchanan, Brampton, ONT, Olympique Lyonnais, France. Forwards, Christine Sinclair, Burnaby, BC, Portland Thorns, and WSL, Deanne Rose, Alliston, ONT, University of Florida Gators, NCAA, Janine Becky, Highlands Ranch, Colo, Sky Blue FC, and WSL, Adriana Leon, King City, ONT, Sky Blue FC, and WSL, Nichelle Prince, Ajax, ONT, Houston Dash, and WSL.